Rising maternal mortality is a complex issue and contributing factors extend beyond medical complications. One of these factors could be the shortage of maternity care facilities and providers. Well, this is prevalent in rural areas. Leading the change in these communities are nurse midwives who step up to play an integral role in providing healthcare to underserved communities. And supporting this is Frontier Nursing University and its mission-focused 80-year history in educating nurses to become nurse midwives and nurse practitioners. The occasion of birth is not just about the arrival of a new person, but is also a transformative and empowering experience. I want to be with women during birth to keep that moment sacred, to honor each new life as it comes into this world. These are the beautiful words of Mari Wiles, a Frontier Nursing University nurse midwifery student. There's a certain mystery that accompanies the miracle of birth. Every day, women put their trust in a healthcare provider who guides them through that miracle. For every story of pure joy and success, there are others where women have felt helpless and alone, even women who know the process intimately. Nobody asked me what I wanted. Nobody asked me if I thought I could keep going. Um, there was nothing wrong with either of us. And so it was a really lonely experience. My other births were not like that, but it changed the way I was as a nurse. I've been through a couple of tough experiences with pregnancy and with loss. And I had a care practitioner at the time that I felt abandoned by. And it really made a difference in my final decision to go ahead and do the career change. These women and thousands like them have answered the call to become a nurse midwife through Frontier Nursing University. The need for their unique skill sets is becoming increasingly important as maternal mortality and morbidity rates in the United States rise. We have the highest mortality rate of any industrialized country in the world. The very shame of it is that um, women of color die three, at le three times more often than white women. So what is going on with that? The interesting thing about it is that that crosses all socioeconomic education strata. The fact that black African-American women are three to four times more likely to die in and around childbirth um, than their white counterparts. And so that kind of struck a chord with me. Amina Jackson is a labor and delivery nurse, a doula, a childbirth educator, and will soon be a nurse midwife. She is also exactly what FNU's president, Dr. Susan Stone, and their chief diversity and inclusion officer, Maria Valentin Welch, say is needed to improve access to quality care for women who are facing language, racial, geographical, and other socioeconomic barriers. Research has made it clear that when you compare a provider that looks the same as the client, the care is much better. There's such a relief when you walk into the room and you start speaking Spanish and, and the patient is Hispanic and they're like, wow, someone who understands me. Valentin Welch says FNU is at the forefront of tackling the difficult and delicate issues related to equity of care through head-on conversations and diversity events for students. Frontier's mission has always been to reach the underserved, and their efforts to recruit and educate women and men from all walks of life is already starting to make a tangible impact. In the last 10 years, FNU has more than doubled the number of underrepresented students who enroll. Recent graduate Andrew Eumann says it's about giving women more choices. I think it's very important to have a very diverse workforce in midwifery. Right now, the workforce is very um, heavily white women. Um, and not those people don't provide um, great care to their patients, but when you have a very homogenous workforce, it's, it, it limits the options of women who want something different. Frontier Nursing University educates nurses in communities all across the country through community-based distance education. This allows students to not only remain in their own communities while pursuing their graduate education, but also encourages them to continue to serve those same communities as nurse midwives and nurse practitioners once they graduate. I became involved with Frontier when I was a young nurse who wanted to be a midwife and I lived in upstate New York, had three little children and didn't have access to midwifery school. 
So when Frontier came out with a distance program, it was perfect for me. We are the largest online program uh, for nurse practitioners and nurse midwives in the United States. When students visit campus, it's easy to see that they form a community and support system for each other. They connect regardless of their distance and differences. The support they feel for one another carries through and makes a lasting positive impact on the women and families they serve. There is just something about the history, the foundation, the community that we have here, that we're all family and we're here for the same mission no matter what path that we're taking. And that every time that we come to this mountain, we can take another piece of that and then bring it back to our own communities no matter where we are in the United States.